action against business uh, organizations that profit from dealing with uh, unlawful settlements. All international uh, rules and standards have been violated in the process. Segregation and clear apartheid. Inhuman uh, practices that are in clear violation of international humanitarian law, international human rights law. I now give the floor to UN Watch. Mr. Falk, in this year final report, the six years of your now ending term, were they a success? Let us consider. Did you promote human rights? We could ask the Israeli people, but the terms of your mandate refuse to consider their human rights, so we cannot ask them. Let us ask the Palestinian people. We should hear from their sole legitimate representative. On 16 February 2010, as revealed by WikiLeaks, the Palestinian delegation here in Geneva met their diplomatic counterparts. The meeting was recorded in a diplomatic cable. I quote, the Palestinians informed us that they were seeking the removal of Special Rapporteur Richard Falk. There's a point of order. I have to ask you to wait. We have a point of order. The floor, Mr. Ambassador. Say the race. Thank you, Mr. President. The speaker must respect this interactive dialogue, which only covers the report of the special rapporteur. What he has just said has no connection with the item under discussion, and I do not even know what organization this uh, speaker represents. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. We are within the interactive dialogue with the Special Rapporteur, Mr. Falk, the mandate holder, and delegates within this uh, dialogue may ask questions and uh, make comments uh, uh, relevant to the report under review. It is in that light that I wish to call on the speaker who had the floor to focus on the report and abstain from focusing the, his statement on a specific question or situation that was not raised by the reporter. I give him the floor once more and I hope that this comment will be taken into account. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. In reference to the last paragraph of your report, Mr. Falk, I quote, the Palestinians informed us that they were seeking the removal of Special Rapporteur Richard Falk due to his poor performance and his reference to Hamas in his draft report to the Council. Palestinian Deputy Permanent Representative Imad Zuhairi was visibly upset by Special Rapporteur Falk's reference to Hamas in his draft report. Zuhairi argued that he had too often corrected Falk's many errors and that this latest misguided effort by Falk had gone too far. Zuhairi said he might use the February HRC meeting to seek to block Falk's report from being presented on grounds that Falk overstepped his mandate, addressed issues outside his brief, and failed to appropriately recognize a UN resolution, not to mention the legitimate authority of the Palestinian Authority. Another point of order from the State of Palestine. The State of Palestine has the floor. Mr. President, I would ask you to be firmer and conduct the work of this session more firmly. We are here to ask and make comments only on the report of Mr. Falk. The Speaker has spoken of our embassy and Mr. Imad Zahairi. That is entirely outside the topic and uh, perhaps that is how he speaks to his counterparts but within this forum he must be f forbidden from speaking thus. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Ambassador. I see Saudi Arabia. Thank you Mr. President. I fully support what has just been said by the Ambassador of the State of Palestine. And I ask you as President uh, to be firmer as regards respect for the procedures that govern our work and the statements that may be made by states and NGOs. Thank you, sir.
Je remercie Monsieur l'Ambassadeur. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. I will not repeat what I have just said, and I simply ask the speaker to observe the comments that have been made. I have uh, clarified regarding the first point of order. I give him the floor, counting on his cooperation in respecting the uh, rules of procedure of our council. Thank you. Mr. President, we are discussing the mandate of the Special Rapporteur. We are examining the past six years of his mandate. We have heard words before me praising his mandate. I uh, know that Mr. Falk in Ma'an newspaper admitted to the things that I'm speaking about. They are known. They are published. We are speaking about the mandate of the rapporteur, and I wish to quote from the Palestinian Authority. Zuhairi said he wished Falk would drop his repeated suggestions that Israel's action in the OPT <coughs> be equated with the Holocaust. In light of the reference to Hamas, Zuhairi said he called Falk personally and asked him to step down, something Falk angrily rejected. Mr. Falk. Oui, la Palestine. Yes, Palestine, please. Mr. President, for the last time, I ask you to interrupt the speaker as soon as he moves off the topic that we are reviewing. We are today, 24th March uh, 2014, examining Mr. Falk's report, and we must limit ourselves to reviewing that and commenting upon it. Otherwise, I will feel obliged uh, to uh, interrupt through other known procedures. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Pakistan, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we would like to support uh, Palestine uh, and uh, remind uh, the NGO uh, with due respect that the mandate of the special procedures as laid down in Resolution 5-2 should be respected and, uh, uh, and the special uh, procedure mandate holders should be allowed to work independently and they should not face undue criticism from those uh, who just want to malign uh, their uh, given mandate which has been given by the council. Thank you. Je vous remercie, Pakistan. Thank you, Pakistan. Cuba, please. Sí, gracias, señor presidente. Queremos... Thank you, Mr. President. We wish to echo what has been said by Pakistan and the State of Palestine regarding the point of order. I believe that you must ask this NGO to respect the rules of the Council. If not, Mr. President, we must uh, stop it from continuing. Thank you, sir. Je remercie Cuba. I thank Cuba, and I give the floor to Venezuela. Mr. President, Venezuela supports the point of order presented by Palestine and Pakistan and Cuba. We consider that your warning has been clear. Uh, as uh, directed towards that speaker, so we believe that he should not be given the floor. Thank you, sir. Je remercie le I thank Venezuela. Algeria, please. Le président, je voudrais appuyer. Thank you, Mr. President. I would also like to support what was said by the representative of Palestine. My delegation also considers that the interactive dialogue must be focused exclusively on the content of the report presented. Thank you, sir. I thank Algeria. Saudi Arabia, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I believe that a number of delegations have spoken and that you could uh, thus uh, interrupt this speaker. I would also wish that the report make no mention of the statement that we have just heard from that NGO. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. 
In light of these uh, statements, I simply remind uh, the speaker that he must focus. Morocco. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The, the delegation of the Kingdom of Morocco would like to support the, the request made by the uh, Ambassador of Palestine. Thank you. Je vous remercie. Thank you. I was saying that in light of these comments, I invite the speaker to conclude in focusing on the report of Mr. Richard Falk. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Falk, in the last paragraph of your report, you blame UN Watch for attacks. Do you also blame us for what the Palestinian Authority has said, for what the Palestinian people have said, which you yourself admitted in the Ma'an newspaper? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. The next